the Capitol Hill to work out a compromise. Alright dude, we gotta return that game and return the shirt and see what they got here. We already have that one. Yeah. Let's go look at Xbox. I got my exchange at, um, whoa, this is huge now. I got my exchange at Hot Topic, but look at the uh, comics and stuff they just put in the mall. It's huge. It's awesome. Let's go check it out. Tons of good stuff. You're walking backwards? Yeah. You ready to go home? Yeah. Because we got all our stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. All right, I was able to do my exchanges. I got um, a One Man Punch, One Punch Man t-shirt. It's pretty cool. And uh, X-Men Origin Wolverines for Jackson. Hey, what's up, guys? So, my setups are a mess right now. Um, it's Saturday. I gotta start cleaning up. It's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, a bunch of my figures are knocked over, not even displayed. So, I'll be working on this today, and I'll show you guys my progress. The never ending mess. Alright, I finally got everything off of there, so that's clean. But I gotta organize all this, which is just bigger props that I can't store anywhere, so I just throw them there, but I gotta organize that. Got some Dio's in the corner. Down here is all my accessories that are organized, but it looks sloppy right now, so I gotta fix that. And down there I just got some boxes, and some Naruto and One Punch Man, and on the bottom just some t-shirts. So I gotta organize all that, and then organize all this, and Drawers here, full of, full of props and accessories. And then down there, I got more, more accessories, ones, and then I have a whole basket full of figures right there. And then I keep my dios right here. Gotta, I gotta figure out better space. Got a second baby on the way, so gotta figure out how to make the best room. Here's a bunch of my uh, female figures. I had them in uh, one display. Because everything knocked over, and I used a bunch of females for a shot. So, you gotta organize them, put them away. Probably come up with some ideas. Package! So, while I was cleaning my room, mailman came by, and I got my package. Let's see what's in there.
So I got Mr. Spock from thinkgeek.com, thanks to Dallas for posting that. I mean, it was $10. A Mezco figure for $10, do not pass that up if you ever come across that opportunity. Never pass that up. But pretty cool. 10 bucks. It was 6 bucks ship, so 16 all together. Oh yeah. Probably plan on taking a picture of him and then customizing the figure somehow. So that's cool. Alright, so it's been a while since I've had everything standing up in my uh, displays. Uh, they've just been knocked over and, you know, too lazy to set them all up. So I take pictures of them all the time. So here's my 3A box. Uh, it's really slimmed down lately. And then we have my Mezco box. Don't have too many. But enough cool ones. And this is sad, but this is my uh, SHF box. I used to have so many Dragon Ball Zs and uh, all the Marvel ones, but I recently sold them. And then on the bottom, I have all my NECA figures. Sorry, you can barely see it, but it's my NECA figures and some select figures. By box, I mean my D-tops. Um, I just call them box or squares. But in the top square, I have all my uh, Yamaguchi and some of the customs I've done. Solitaire. The uh, arcade I won from Punker Mike's Contest. Love that thing. Alright, going down, we have my X-Men. Everybody has a big-ass X-Men display. So figures I still want is like Forge. I've never been able to have Forge. And I can't think of it on top of my head, but a few figures I'm missing. I need to get the X-Men 2-pack with Phoenix and Cyclops. I need a Magneto. I uh, can't really think of anything else. Down here I just have some big villains. Moon Knight and Ghost Rider are villains, but I just put them in there. Then on the bottom there I just got random figures that I don't have in... Zip blocks right now, so they're just figures I've been messing around with, taking pictures of. And in this one, I got one my one. all new, all different Avengers up top, and then just some other random Avengers on the bottom. Over here, I just kind of stuffed this one with my movie figures. I have a lot more, but they're actually in Ziploc bags, and I sold off a lot of my older ones. Down there, I got my Black Panther set up since the movie's coming out, and I'm hyped on it. And then on the bottom I got my army builders, four of each, with three scourges, but four aim, four shield, and four shield. And normally I would have this all displayed really nice, but um, we got the second baby on the way. And we're going to be doing some rearranging, so pretty soon I'm going to have to move these guys and find a new spot for them. I'm going to have to redo it all, which is always a pain in the ass. But I'm glad to have everything standing now. Oh man, I wish I... Oh man, I hope I can pull this off. Try to get it just right. Bam! Alright, so Jax and I just got back from the mall. We went to GameStop and Target. I was able to get my Wolverine figure that they yeah. held for me. And I was able to price match the 6 inch Legend for that. <laughs> so I got that sucker for 20 bucks. I uh, also got this cup on clearance. It's 3 bucks. Bought Jackson some gloves. Oh yeah, you excited to show these off? Yeah! Alright. And we bought him the cool mask. Lights up. And then you can go up and then. It has glasses that go up and down. Yeah, glasses. And we also got some games. We bought Ninja Turtles, Wolverine Origins, a really fun game for Daddy, and Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Man, so this shot's pretty difficult to pull off because these guys are so huge. <laughs> uh, I wish I could take it like that. That, but my, my diorama and backdrop are just too small. But the pose I got, I really, really like.
All right, so I was able to get this shot. Uh, shooting these 12 inch figures is kind of a pain in the ass because of the framing. If I uh, pull out on that at all, you know, you see everything. So I kind of had to get real close on it. And then I had a whole background or a floor, but it didn't work because I had a, it wasn't even going to be in the picture because these guys are so big. But I had a lot of fun shooting the shot. That Wolverine is badass, and so is this Hulk. Yeah, it's it's a way different challenge using these uh, these 12 inch figures rather than the 6 inch because you have to have both hands on them to pose them. <laughs> you know, you can't just use one hand and pose them and use it to stand it up or anything. You got to use both hands just to move the arm and everything. Yeah, had a lot of fun with the shot. I hope you guys liked it, and let's see what else I can come up with. Alright, so I got this all set up right now. Only got the red and blue light on right now, but I'm gonna set it up. Set up the lights, see how it turns out. Try and get it like that. Alright, so I kept tinkering with the shot and kinda had to go sideways on it. Yeah, it was coming out pretty good. Pretty cool group shot. Move my lights everywhere. Got two on the bottom there. Red, red and white there. Blue and white over there. And this other one right here, right in the front. So this was a fun setup. All right, so I shot all these shots outside because I live in California and there's no snow out here or creeks or anything like that. So I just kind of went outside and used this uh, little wall. right in the alley of my house so but uh there's no sunlight but the sun's reflecting off my window and it gave this little pocket of sun so i went ahead and used that on this it looks pretty cool